Hi everyone. Are you managing to stay sane? This is really the grind of lockdown, isn't it? Um, it's the 28th of April. What does that make us? 35, 36 days into lockdown here in Wisconsin. Ugh, it seems like a lot longer than that. Anyway, I hope that you're all managing to hang in there okay. Uh, I had a little bit of time this morning, so I thought that I would do um, a quick video on lab testing. I think that testing people for um, the presence or absence or the potential for immunity of coronavirus is really going to be the most direct route to getting us all back to, well, what will be a new normal, but perhaps back to work in some way, shape, or form. There are a couple of different types of tests, and I, I mentioned this in my, my video the other day. Um, the test that's most widely used right now is a PCR test or um, a nasal swab test. That's where um, someone who is acutely ill or sick right now um, uh, presents to an emergency um, department or an urgent care. Uh, it's deemed that they should be tested for coronavirus and someone orders this um, nasal swab, which is this really long Q-tip like, like swab that gets um, inserted all the way back to the, well, it seems like to your brain, but it's really not. So it's sort of to the back of your throat to collect viral particles, which are then um, replicated and tested for. Um, that test is actually a pretty fast test to do. Um, PCR tests can take um, a couple of hours to, uh, to process. Unfortunately, uh, not every lab does that specific coronavirus test um, and there is obviously a huge glut of testing being done right now so uh, the frustrating part about um, PCR tests is that sometimes it can take days or even over a week to get results back um, another type of testing is called um, serology or antibody testing and again I think that this is going to be um, the more important testing uh, to do to get um, people back to work in some way, shape, or form. <clears throat> so what serology testing does is it looks for your body's response to, or your body's immune response to an infection. When you are first exposed to a virus, your body makes what are called IgM immunoglobulins or antibodies. I think of that as like IgM M immediate, like the immediate immune response or IgM antibodies. Those antibodies are produced probably three to five days after you've been exposed to a virus. So if you were exposed this morning and we did a test this afternoon, we'd have a negative because your body didn't have enough time to make enough IgM antibodies for a test to, to detect them. The other type of antibodies that are tested for on serology are called IgG antibodies. So IgM comes up and starts to go down at about the three week mark, we see IgG antibodies being produced. Those are the ones that linger for months to years and we believe provide um, immunity to an infection. Uh, again, those take several weeks for us to see, whereas the IgM antibodies we see within a couple of days. Um, so the results that we get on a serology test can be a little bit difficult to interpret because we either get um, a negative for both of them, a positive for both of them, or one is positive and one is negative. So we get f one of four different results and each of them means something a little bit different. I think I told you folks last week that I had my own um, serology testing done, uh, the results of which I have here. So I think you can see this. So you can see that uh, personally, I am negative for both IgM and IgG antibodies to the novel coronavirus, um, which is good and bad. Uh, it means that I've not been exposed, um, I have no immunity. Uh, I think that the best result would be a negative IgM, someone has no symptoms, and a positive IgG, which would be someone that, in my medical opinion, could probably safely return to work in some way, shape, or form. We get a lot of um, questions about the tests, and if you watch any of the news, you, you see that a lot of these tests, these serology tests, um, are really flawed. We have a lot of false positives, false negatives. Um, the thing that you wanna watch for with these tests are these certain numbers that are called um, sensitivities and specificities. Uh, so I just wrote down a couple of 
words about what exactly those mean. The test that we use right here for our serology um, is 97.5% specific for coronavirus, and it's 90% uh, sensitive for coronavirus. So what does that mean? Um, sensitivity means a true positive. That, that means that if the virus is there, 90% of the time, this test will pick it up. The specificity is a true negative. That is the likelihood of someone not having a virus and then having a negative result. So we want those numbers to be 90 and up. Um, a lot of these serology tests that are coming out now have really low sensitivity and specificity rates, 50%, 60%, 70%. Um, these really muddy the waters when we're trying to make recommendations on who should and who should not return to work. So really important that we have high sensitivity and high specificity numbers. So I hope that that helps a little bit. Another question that we get here is, is this test covered by insurance? The lab that we're currently using um, does not accept insurance for uh, serology testing. Mm, as a caveat, most insurance companies don't cover elective testing. Like, you can't typically walk into your doctor's office and request to be tested for X, Y, Z, and then your doctors say, mm, okay, there's no reason to test you for that, but all right, and have that be covered by insurance. So most elective testing, at least as of right now, isn't covered. Um, testing for, serology testing for coronavirus will be considered necessary at some point in the future. It's just not as of today. Um, one of the many reasons why it's so hard to get your hands on a test. So as of now, no, um, the, the lab that we're using and none of them uh, are currently um, accepting insurance, but I think that that will change at some point in the future when I'm not entirely sure. So I hope that that helps explain a little bit about testing. I think down the road there, there, there will be other tests that we can do, probably saliva testing, which will be even easier than a blood test, something that people can easily do at home, um, but um, more on that later. Uh, in the meantime, uh, wash your hands. Uh, stay six feet fingertip fingertip away from people and please 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 for the love of God wear a mask wear a mask in public I'm here alone in my office with the door closed so I'm only a risk to myself um, but if you're not doing it for your own uh, safety please please wear a mask for the safety of others um, people who are around you who are much more vulnerable to the virus um, as always, thank you so much for listening. Uh, I hope that you all have a great day. Stay sane and uh, more soon.